So you have clients, they're not getting the best results, or maybe you've had clients that have came in and caused problems, started talking crap on you or whatever else it is. In this video, we're gonna talk about how you can avoid that and create a process at the very beginning of your coaching that will change your clients and your business's life. So stay tuned. So one of the common questions uh, that coaches have is, well, how do I start my coaching? What do I what do I do when I start? And so before you start anything, there has to be clear expectations set up front. So I wanna go over a process that will really help you. And so if you don't do this, okay, you're gonna have problems later on. And so when I uh, first started coaching, um, I got all kinds of, clients and they had every every person begin something with their own expectations their own idea of what it looks like or what they're going to receive or what they're going to get or how this is going to go down and so you just want to make sure that you're both on the same page when you're starting right and so you and every leader needs to do this i remember uh the movie baywatch um the rock uh was doing this uh, training, right? And the hip guy, I can't remember his name, that end up being uh, one of the main characters is all ripped and shredded and he shows up and he just expects to be on the team. And The Rock's like, no, you're not, pretty boy. You gotta go through it just like everybody else. You gotta apply. This is one of the best, uh, this is one of the best uh, um, Bay watches in, in the world or whatever, I can't remember. And after that scene, there was a person that was actually uh, drowning in the ocean so it shows the rock and his team going after it and him as well and he ended up making a mistake and later the rock came back and said you know what this is the reason why there's expectations and so setting expectations is kind of like molding wet cement okay you got to mold it the way you want before it dries and if you don't mold it the way you want and it dries out of shape now you really have to chisel it Okay, to change its form. And so working with people is the same thing. If you don't set expectations up front, okay, and you're not going over those things, then you're gonna really have trouble later on in the program. So to guarantee your client, I shouldn't say to guarantee, to guarantee more of a client's success, you wanna make sure that you're setting these expectations very, very clearly. So now the question is, well, how do I do this? What do I do? So in our process, we'll have our client manager uh, reach out to them, okay, give them all the links to all the online trainings, the masterminds, the events, workshops, okay, whatever else it is, and then send them what's called the empowerment handbook. And so empowerment means essentially to power within, to to empower, right? And so that's why I call it the empowerment handbook, because essentially that's what you're doing for them, right? Is you're empowering them. You're setting expectations to help empower them. Doesn't matter if they're coaching with you, somewhere else, maybe they're leading their own group. So regardless of what type of coaching or uh, what, type, what type of business, this is gonna work in all situations. So um, here's what we do. So the first thing that we do, Okay, is we essentially talk about the difference between a successful client and an unsuccessful. Got an S in there, didn't I? Okay, you get what I'm saying. Back off the spelling, right? So successful versus unsuccessful. So I essentially write out, here's what successful clients do. And so essentially you're just writing out, okay? Here's what our successful team members do. Here's what our successful customers do. Here's what our successful clients do. And so I'd really just look back on your journey and other uh, your other client's journey and go, gosh, what was it the thing that really separated the successful people from the unsuccessful people? And that's good for them to know as well. Right? They want to know what's the mindset, okay? What's the skill sets that they need to learn in order to come? So when you're determining, okay, successful versus unsuccessful, I always think what's the mindset and then also what's the skill set, okay? Because essentially that's what requires transformation. There has to be a change in the way I think and there has to be a change in the way I move. So go over both of those, right? And then essentially after that, okay, I say that word a lot, don't I? Essentially. So successful versus unsuccessful then i go over essentially one one sentences okay and i have them initial these lines 
Okay, so I'll say you can come into this program and be relentless and work your ass off, initial. I commit to coming to all the events and workshops, okay, initial. I commit to progression, not perfection. And as I have them go and after they fill out this uh, handbook, I essentially go back through them. What does progression versus perfection mean to you? Because again, if you asked 100 people and asked and told them what's the difference between progression and perfection, they'd all have different meanings. And if they interpret it differently, even though you say that sentence and they initial it, they're still going into the program with a different idea than you have in mind for them. All right, is this making sense to you? Okay, so you have to be on the same wavelength. So that's why I always say, Tell me that definition. What does that mean to you? And I don't feel like we do this enough and that's why there's a lot of miscommunication is because we're interpreting words differently. And if we're interpreting it differently and creating different meanings, okay, from these words, then we're going to start the program, okay, focusing again with different mindsets and different skill sets based upon the fact that you just interpreted the meaning differently, right? Okay, so I have them initial it. All right, and so the third thing that I'll go through them is I'll just get a really uh, life analysis right now. What's your schedule look like? Who's the type of people that you need to surround yourself around? Why are you doing this program? Okay, what are you hoping to get out of the program? What's the most important thing for you to learn? Okay, so just get an idea of essentially how they want the program to go. So life, life inventory is one of them. Okay, so life inventory and then uh, like life inventory and then their expectations on the program. So what they want. So I'll put wants, need, and learn. Okay, what they what they want, what they want, need, and learn. So these are kind of the three basic things. And then at the end of it, I have some quotes, empowerment quotes, and then I just have a message, a heartfelt message saying, hey, thank you so much. I'm so honored to be a part of your journey. Uh, let me do, uh, let me, let us know anytime that we can help. Okay. So I'm going over all these things. So let me go over some other important things to really cover during this time is when can they reach out to you? All right. What is, uh, when is appropriate to email you or not email you, right? Uh, when are business hours? Um, okay. What's, what's the way that the program is going to unfold, right? Uh, what's the step? So again, just going back over everything, uh, I like to hand them a checklist of everything that's part of the program. So we do branding. So we'll go over the entire checklist of everything that we're gonna do in order so they understand. And essentially when, when things start to go wrong, it's just that you have different visions, okay? You have different things, different expectations. And sometimes it just comes down to is just that. You, you're, you're both great people. However, just whatever happened, you're just on different wavelengths right now. So make sure that this is before anything happens. And I usually save the handbook. And if anything comes up later, okay, I essentially showed them, hey, I told you that there could be something that sets us back in this program. I don't know, uh, video guy doesn't show up or, um, you know, uh, someone's, someone loses a loved one. Uh, the website server, I don't know what happens. Like we're normal people. We're going to make mistakes. Can you come into this program understanding that our whole goal is to serve you? However, we do make the same mistakes at the same time. However, we're willing to fix whatever those. So you give us the two thumbs up. Okay. So going over things like that, again, like I was saying before, they need, people need vision. Okay, they need to understand what's ahead of them. So if you tell them, yeah, great things are ahead. However, it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, now when things come up in your program, which they will, and you're not perfect either, right? Okay, there's only one man that was perfect. And even him, even he, however you want to describe him, was not truly, truly perfect, right? And so we're gonna make mistakes and we just need to make sure that our clients coming in, we're understanding that our whole goal is to serve, to love, and to help them get the results that they want. All right, um, another part that I mentioned during this part is you're gonna come in and you're gonna start and you're gonna finish this program and we have additional resources. Can you come and start, finish this program, communicate with us and know that you're always welcome back to come and consume whatever we have here for you. All right. So the more you go over these things and the more you discuss them, the better results that you're going to have with your clients. Okay. 
Be inspired, guys. Be next gen. And I truly believe that the world needs you. So get out there and do it.